AWS Step Functions is a very powerful orchestration service and lots of people are using it like Coca-Cola, Yelp, Thomson Reuters, The Guardian, The Zone, Food Panda, and many more. But secretly, everyone has been struggling with the same problem. How am I going to test my state machines, especially when they can get a wee bit complicated sometimes? So in this video, I'm going to explain what makes testing step functions so hard and what you can do about it. I'm not here to dissuade you from using step functions, just that you should know what challenges you'll be facing, because after all, step functions is not the only game in town when it comes to implementing business workflows serverlessly. You can also use Lambda functions and do all your workflows in code, or use the choreography approach and build the workflow as an event-driven architecture. I've compared these approaches in my previous videos, so I won't go into details here. But suffice to say that there's a good reason why so many people are using step functions for their business critical workflows. So suppose we have this state machine to process payment requests where we have a branching logic so we can use both Stripe and the PayPal depending on the payment provider specified in the input. We have some try catch logic to make the process more robust and we have some Lambda functions to perform custom business logic or to use third party SDKs to call the APIs. But often we don't have to write custom code and can use step functions built in integrations. For example, we can ask step functions to call an API in API gateway, which in this case would proxy our request to Stripe. Or we can have step functions send messages to SQS and SNS without needing Lambda functions. In fact, step functions support a whole range of different integrations, many of which support the callback pattern, which is an extremely useful feature where you need to include menu steps in the workflow. This makes them so much easier to implement. But how are we going to test this fairly simple state machine? For the Lambda functions, we can write component tests that exercise the function in isolation using unit and the integration tests. But if we are using step functions to its full potential with direct service integrations, callbacks, branching logic, and the parallel data processing with the parallel and the map states, and of course, waiting, which step functions wait state is arguably the simplest and the most cost efficient way to add delays into a workflow then there are a lot of different scenarios that we need to cover. And to get to a reasonable test coverage, we would need to direct the executions to cover all the possible paths through our state machine. But the further away we are from the start, the harder it is to control which direction the execution goes. If we want to test the Stripe integration, we can start an execution with an input that specifies Stripe as the payment provider. And in the happy path, we can run the execution to completion and check the execution result and make sure that any expected side effects, such as data being written to a DynamoDB table, has happened. But what if we want to test the failure paths and make sure that error handling is working correctly? Then straight away we have a problem. This SQS step here is a callback. How do we make this callback step fail on command? The message is being handled outside of our state machine, and the only level we have right now is the input. So that's tricky. And what if we want to exercise this error path instead? We will need to make the Stripe API return an error, which can also be difficult, especially if we need to test specific errors like insufficient funds or timeout, which are going to be difficult to orchestrate in a test. And it gets worse when it comes to control flows, like when you have branching logic or try catch error paths. And since the only level we have in an end-to-end -end test is the input to the execution and the whatever data that we can seed into the environment. So the further down into the state machine we go, the more likely we're going to be working on data that was created during the execution and the less inference we have with the branching logic and decisions the state machine takes and the more difficult it becomes for us to cover every path. And on top of all that, dealing with time is also a big issue when it comes to testing, like when you have a timeout or a wait state. Say you have a wait state that waits for an hour before it does something, no one in their right mind is going to write a test case that waits for a whole hour before checking if the thing happened. That would be ludicrous. There are so many different things that we need to cover in our tests, and we need to make sure that IAM permissions are set up correctly as well. When it comes to our Lambda functions, we can use unit tests to check the domain logic and use integration tests to check how our function interacts with other services like DynamoDB, and we can rely on the end-to-end -end test to exercise the whole state machine and tell us if there are any IAM related problems. And in general, I tend to rely mostly on end-to-end -end tests, but as I mentioned earlier, orchestration is a big problem if you want to have a decent test coverage. And that's where Step Functions Local comes in, which is a Java application that you can run locally to simulate Step Functions. While I don't like using local simulators in general, 
Step functions local is kind of a necessity here because it lets you set up mock responses for your test cases, which is so important for controlling the execution to reach those hard to reach parts of your state machine. Yes, the whole JSON thing is awkward, but it does work and is the best we've got right now. And although Step Functions Local does support skipping time, but it's also a bit awkward to configure, and there are two separate mechanisms for dealing with timeout versus wait states. So instead, the best way I found is to actually rewrite the wait and the timeout duration in the setup step of your test case, and then execute the state machine against Step Functions Local, which has become a big part of my test strategy in order to cover all the execution paths. And if all this seems like too much of a hustle, then check out these two alternatives of using Lambda and the choreography approach instead.